So hello and welcome to this week's episode of The Artistic Biker Live. The kids will likely be filtering in and out. There's still daylight outside and they've been cooped up in the school classrooms all day so they're running off all their steam. Uh, the kid went upstairs and got the watercolors and his sketch, sketchbook and, some di and a dinosaur book so who knows what he's going to do tonight. And I honestly haven't seen the girl. She came home, uh, she ate a snack, went upstairs, I made her practice her bass. And then, because she plays double bass, and then, uh, and then she disappeared. The wife is home, probably asleep on the couch. She ordered pizza, so I, I don't know. Maybe they'll filter through. Who knows? Maybe, maybe there'll be a sighting. <gasps> Even the dog left me. <laughs> so, uh, last week on the Artistic Biker Live, we did this watercolor of this shoe, and I'm sorry, I gave my wife back her shoe, but it was. Uh, just a quick little watercolor sketch, uh, showing just some basic how how to sketch it and how to how to watercolor it and stuff like that. And and, and I mentioned at the end of the show that uh, we were probably going to do uh, fix some figure work this week, and so I thought that I would uh, I would run through how we're going to do that real quick. So I have. Since I've been to Houston, I found a couple of places in Houston. Actually, I found a lot of places in Houston that do uh, that have figure drawing workshops. I don't know. There's some kind of reflection that's happening over here, and it's it's jacking with me. Um, it may be me. I don't know. Anyway, um, so I found a lot of them. Rick's uh, Rick's Jennings has a lab in, inside the Beltway in, in the in the uh, in the Heights. Uh, Arches Gateway Arches Gallery has a has a, a, a figure drawing lab on Sundays. Uh, the Art League has a the Houston Art League has a figure drawing lab on Thursdays in the afternoons uh, around lunchtime and then again on Saturday. The you know but the problem is is they're all they're all inside the Beltway which I know that doesn't mean anything to you if you're not from Houston uh, but what that means to me is is that it's uh, an hour and a half to get to it and, and I had this problem in Oklahoma when I was in rural Oklahoma you know the, now of course now the the, the difference is, is that it's an hour and a half here because it's an hour and a half of traffic and in Oklahoma it was an hour and a half because it was that far away so it might only be 10 miles away here uh, actually I think they're all about 20 miles away but in, in in Oklahoma you know they were they were 60 miles away everything everything was in Oklahoma City from us which was 45 to 60 miles away but uh, here something could be something could be five miles away and it's still a 45 minute drive <laughs> it, it, especially when it rains it kills me these people it rains here every day about three o'clock and they still don't know how to drive in the rain it's, it's crazy so the the traffic is not that bad for me most of the time but I'd like to find a dance studio or some dance studio or something around over here that would let me use their space on an off night, and and then maybe we could host a figure drawing event on this side, uh, in the in on the west side in the Katy area, which would be, you know, fabulous for me because, and I wouldn't have to drive an hour and a half over there. But then of course you know I've got to dedicate the multiple hours to setting it up and and organizing it. So yeah, it's really nice just to go to Rick's because Rick's has got a bevy of beautiful models all shapes and sizes male and female and they're all great models so it's, it's really nice to just be able to go there and have it all set up and ready to go but at the same time you know I'd really like to have one over here where I didn't have to where I didn't have to drive an hour and a half so I've resorted to using the resources that I used that I that I started using in Oklahoma and I've got a couple of got a couple of extras I'm going to show them to you Real quick, I'm going to show you some of these resources. Um, so I'm going to start with the first one that I ever found was Pose Space. And Pose Space, let's go. Let's go. How do I? Where, where is the home? Why can't I go to the home? I see the selected poses. How about back? Back again, back again, back again. Is this the home? Here's the okay. So Pose Space. Uh, it's not. It's not really a membership site, though. You you can sign up to have a. You can sign up to have a membership on it. Uh, in in Pose Space, they have all of these. Uh, they have 
lots and lots of these fabulous models. Uh, do, 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 do. Dude, let's see here. They've changed up just a little bit because they started doing them all on. They've started doing them all on. Oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. Hang on. Ooh, don't look at the naked people. <laughs> I'll have to edit that out. They started doing them all on uh, libraries where you don't have you don't have them on the on the actual viewer anymore, and so. They were doing them where you 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 could just use this viewer, and I want I want to show you this viewer. I'd like to show you this viewer without a naked person. And this is what we're going to draw from tonight when I when I get back to it, because once you download a pose, once you buy a pose and download a pose, you can turn it. They do it like the Matrix, where they take pictures, where they take pictures from multiple angles at one time, and so you can turn it. To get the pose you want, and that's we're gonna we're gonna do that tonight, so that uh, I don't have to worry about the the uh, the nudity alerts on uh, YouTube and stuff. So that's pose space. P O Z E. I'm sorry. P O S E S P A C E. dot com. I'll have links in the video when I post the video, and then the next one I want to show you is line of action. So line of action. This is a this is a membership site. You don't you don't have to be a member, but you if you if you become a member, that attracts what you're doing. But what I like most about Line of Action is like for instance, if you want to focus on here's hands and feet. If you want to focus on hands and feet, you come over here and let's see. I just want to do hands, and I only want to do female models, or I can choose only male models, or I can choose both. And I want all my I want them all to be the same length, and I can pick. I can pick some time, so I've got some preset times here, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 2 minutes, 60 seconds, 30 seconds, or I can enter my own interval here in seconds. And uh, when I do this on my own, I usually do 2 minutes, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do 30 seconds just so I can show you that it, 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 throws a, it throws a hand up there, and then there's a countdown up here in the upper corner. Uh, Counting down for 30 seconds. 30 seconds is a long time just to sit and, and watch something, though. But it, so at the end of that 30 seconds, it'll go to another hand pose, and then at the end of that 30 seconds, it'll go to another hand pose. And they have a they have a classroom feature. Da -da. They have a classroom feature. Going back in here, hands only females, and I chose all the same length, but I can go to class mode. And then in the class mode, I can see how long I want my class to be. So I want, and it'll let you know. So here's a 30-minute class. If I set up a 30-minute a class, I get 10 poses of 30 seconds. I get five poses of one minute. I get two poses of five minutes, and then I get one 10-minute pose. So it works out to exactly 30 minutes. If I were to choose an hour, I can. It, it breaks it down to to 10, 5, 2, 1. Then you get a five-minute break, and then you do a 25-minute pose. Here's six hours where there's a whole series of poses with breaks built in. And it, it sets it up where it's just like a just like a, a class where you have uh, where where you have you have uh, short poses, long poses, and practice poses. Do something about the dog, please. Uh, it's very distracting to have that dog barking. Anyway, so I like I like line of action. I use line of action a lot, especially when I'm doing hands, especially uh, especially when I'm learning when I want to focus specifically on hands. But they have faces and expressions. They have uh, they have animals. They have nude they have nude figures that you can go through. And like I said, you can choose uh, you can choose your length. You can do you can do all the same length. You can choose a class mode, or you can just pick one and start drawing it. You can pick your expressions. You want all expressions: neutral, happy, sad, angry, surprised, goofy, male and female, female or male. I mean, there's, there's a lot of options here. And uh, the, it's, this is an inexpensive site. Uh, I think it's like 20 bucks a year. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure how much it is, but it's what it's well worth paying it just to keep it open for everybody else. And then of course there's my favorite with uh, Figurosity. I really like Figurosity. He's got a ton of poses. The only the only downside to Figurosity is Figurosity is uh, these are CGI. These these are these are all computer generated models. But they are very well done computer generated models. 
So, like this one, this is, uh, he gave them all names. What's her name? Sarah. This is Sarah in her slightly used jumpsuit. So here's, here's the whole set of Sarah in her slightly used jump, jumpsuit. And let's say, let's say we like this pose right here, because I do. I like that pose. So we can look at that pose in muscle. We can look at that pose in nude. We can look at that pose dressed. We can look at that pose smooth with no skin tones whatsoever. So all you're focusing on is, is shadows. Here you can see how the muscles work. Uh, you can zoom in. So you want to you want to just zoom in on her on her hands or whatever. You can you can do that. Uh, and then when you pick one, if you load it to the 360, let's go with let's go with new, with muscle. If you load it to the 360, then you can turn it just like you can with just like you can with pose space. So you can turn it and you can see it from all different angles. And you can work it. You can see how the muscles work. You can see smooth. You can see nude. And you can see it dressed. And so in dressed mode there. So anyway, I like figurosity. Figurosity uh, is is free except you can't get to the nude stuff if you if you don't pay for it. You have to. You have to be. A, you have to be a member, and a What's membership this? for this one is like Mine. membership for this one is like sixty to seventy bucks a year. It's not. It's not expensive at all. Actually, no, it's not even that. It's like thirty two, thirty five dollars a year. So those are those are a lot of the tools that I use. Do 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 do. I got two. I've got two viewers. I don't know who they are. Hi, new, hi, two viewers. I can't. I can't see who they are. Here's my boy eating pizza. I'm gonna run through real quick some of the other tools that I use. If you're going to keep pictures on your phone like I do, I can't stress enough the importance of having a secure folder. I don't know if. Uh, Apple has this, but I know Android has a secure folder. But I can go to my secure folder and I can punch in my code to my secure folder. That way I can't accidentally pull up a gallery in front of anybody. And I can't accidentally I can't accidentally pull up a uh, a gallery in front of anybody and, and have them see what's on my phone. But you can see if if we go to screenshots, I have 562 new screenshots to sort. I have uh, I have several of them sorted into folders. Do, do, do. I have unsorted pinups. Where are my unsorted pinups? My unsorted pinups. There are 17,977 photos in my unsorted pinup folder, and I can go through there and I can I can just pick the next one to draw, so that I can get all the practice that I want wherever I am. And then the other the other thing that I use quite frequently is this slideshow feature. And I use it primarily with faces. There we go. Took a while to load it because there's there's some twelve thousand faces on there. Hey APG there's some twelve thousand faces loaded on here. But when I play this slideshow, it randomly, I've got it set for two minutes. No, I have it set for one minute. So it'll randomly put a face up there for me to draw. And uh, I'm just going to skim through them. In, in, in 60 seconds, it'll put another face up there. In 60 seconds, it'll put another face up there. In 60 seconds, it'll put another face up there. And that, that, lets, me, uh, that lets me draw faces pretty easily lets me practice lets me get some lets me get some gestures in and then I'll go and then I'll go into a, a folder I have a folder let me see my faces folder in my faces folder I have 12 yeah I have uh, 12,000 faces and then I here's my I have faces that I've already drawn so out of my 12,000 faces I already drawn 50 of them Just all kinds of faces, mostly redheads. So this is what, because 
because I don't like to drive as much, and and because when I when we were in Oklahoma, there was no real option to to go find a model without having to drive the the uh, sixty miles into town or yeah, the sixty miles into the city. Uh, even with my own, even when I had my own studio and gallery, I didn't I didn't have any I didn't have a pool of models to come model for. So it is fun though every now and then when the wife poses for me. So Wait, that she never she does. Posed? Not that often. I just don't share that information with you. So, with that, let's let's get into the meat of it. Let's let's actually do let's actually do some figure drawing, and we'll start with some warm ups. Well, I'm just oh. working on faces. Huh? I'm working on faces. Good deal. Riveting. We like the gingers. We do like the gingers, APG. We have live drawings every other Thursday at the gallery. They have clothes on, though. Yeah, but you're in Conroe. That's that's quite a ways from me. And and everybody everybody on my side, our APG lives down here by Houston with me, and uh, but she's over she's over on the opposite side, the Houston greater area. If you're if you're not familiar with the Houston greater area, Houston is what what are we the fourth largest city in the United States, and what they call the Houston greater area is bigger than Oklahoma. There are six million people in the Houston greater area, and it's a big place. So dun, dun, dun. let's go to quick poses. Why is this? Why is this being this way? Menu, quick poses. There we go. And let's do. I don't know. Let's do. Thir let's just do some thirty-second gestures. Now, I like to do gestures in ink because I don't want to think about it. So I'm going to use a fountain pen for my gestures. And we're going to go with uh, nude, not smooth. We're going to go with female left and right, and bird's eye, street, and worm's eye. And that gives us, that's going to give us 273,920 uh, possibilities. I'm going to tell it to go. We're going to do, I don't know, let's do six. Let's just do six. And then that'll, that'll be enough warm up and then we'll move on to the, we'll move on to the actual pose and I'll sketch the pose and, and then we'll, and then we'll do what's on your easel. Yay. Yay. I'm still working on my easel. It's been a while since I have done gestures, so it may take me a few minutes to warm up, which is why it's important to do gestures to get you nice and loose. So that you have a sense of flow with your figures and you can uh, it lets you uh, can't talk guarding. It gives you a sense of flow with your figures, so that when you get actually get into doing the the uh, the actual figures, spending some time, you can you can have a, a more natural flow to it. Like I said, can't talk guarding. We'll do. We'll just do a few here, just to, just to get warmed up. And I, I really, I really can't stress enough the importance of doing the gestures before you do anything else. The, uh, 
this is really a whole lot more beneficial with a live model though. If you can do this, if you can do this with a live model, do it with a live model. Get your get your family to pose for you. Get your get your dog to pose for you. Anything just to uh, like me? Yeah. Just to get you some, just to get you some uh, ink on paper, if you will. Get you some shapes going. Sometimes, sometimes thirty seconds is a long time for a, for a gesture. Sometimes thirty seconds, you just you just barely get started, and you're. You can't figure out why you're out of time already. Sometimes 30 seconds is way too long. APG, hey, what do you have going on tonight? You doing anything fancy? I saw you sent some easels in. Is petering out on me. That's irritating. Sorry, right, we only have a couple more to go. And while these just look like scratches. In my head, they're paintings. <laughs> oh, your back is bad this afternoon. Just sitting, thinking about going to bed. I was thinking about going to bed. You know, it's been so long since we've done a show on a on a regular schedule that uh, I was already making excuses on why I wasn't going to be on tonight. And then I thought, you know what? APG's liable to be here. If APG, if there's and, and Pamela French might be here, and if and if y'all are going to be here, then I can be here. Let me see my water brush, kiddo. Um, first, let me it off. Okay. So in my head, these are paintings. There's green paint on it. I'm sorry. <laughs> the green paint's not going to hurt anything. In my head, these are paintings. So. When you come back in and you see them, once you start adding, once you start adding, um, form to it, then it starts making sense. One of the beauties of working with fountain pen is the ink is not water the ink is not waterproof so when you're done drawing you can spread that ink around and then people can see a little bit about what was going on in your head <laughs> what's he doing I don't know That doesn't look like anything. Well, maybe not to you, but in his head it means something. So you can see. Thank you. Most of our internets are sure about Twitch and are very reluctant to come over. Plus, there's a group show there. They are probably at. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. We'll put this on. We'll, we'll upload this to YouTube. When we're, when we're done, so let me get this the sketch in here. I'm gonna get the basic outline, the basic sketch down, and then we'll stop and we'll do what's on your easel. Well, I'm not finished. 
you have time. So going back to pose space, remember with pose space it's a real model. It's not like it's not like figurosity where it's a uh, it's not like figurosity where it's a uh, uh, generate computer generated model. This is a this is a actual photograph of a model, and you can see you can rotate. You can show I can rotate that all the way around and show from every angle. But again, to not anger the nudity gods on the sensors on YouTube and on Facebook, I want to make sure. I'm not sure if Twitch has has nudity sensors like that. I know that I know that when we did this on Ustream, if I even flashed drawings of breasts, it shut me down. I got locked out completely. I had to get letters from, from all kinds of viewers to come back in. You do not have to wave every time the camera is on you. It's very distracting. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize for everything either. Don't fall out of your chair. So anyway, uh, on Ustream, if you had even a, a drawn breast, bam, it locked you out. <clears throat> and I had to have people write letters to get me reinstated on Ustream. So I'm going to show you some of the tools that I use to do this. I've got I've got this um, uh, Conte Conte Paris uh, pencil, very 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 black pencil. Uh, I'm going to say it's probably. Uh, it might be it might be 2B it might be well yeah it says right there it's 2B so it's 2B but it's very very black so it, it'll it'll make a very dark mark if I wanted to I've got it sharpened nice and long the only problem is I only have one of these sharpened like this and I didn't take the time to sharpen four or five others so if that lead breaks it's broken and we're done uh, I have a mechanical pencil with some 4B 4B graphite in it and we can use it and then if the lead breaks, I have a refill. I have, I have a bunch of refills, so. Or you could just use mine. I could, or I could, or I could use mine. I have this really nice mechanical pencil. This is a this is a Kuru Toga Uni Kuru Toga, 0.5 millimeter. And what's special about this one is that tip is spring loaded, so that when you put pressure on it, when you let up off the pressure, it it turns, and so it always keeps your fine point tip down. You know when you when you write with a pencil, one side will get soft and your and your your uh, marking will get will go from extremely fine to kind of fuzzy. Well, this won't let you do that because every time you pick it up, it it turns your lead for you and keeps it and keeps it sharp. So, and then we have the the fountain pens. When I when I do these in my little sketchbook, I use this ultra fine uh, platinum fountain pen that somebody turned me on to. This thing has great flow and it is a very very fine point and it is really nice and it's platinum carbon is is how it, how you look it up it just says platinum carbon made in Japan and it's a it's really nice or so I'll use my brush pen this is a pentel brush pen I like it to, to draw with and then I have my fountain pens. I like to use ink when I draw because I don't I don't like to worry about mistakes. I want to. I just want to put the mark on the paper, and set it, and forget it. If I if I mess up, then I just work it into the drawing, or it it just becomes part of the art. So let's get uh, let's get our basic sketch in. I don't know if we're gonna if we're gonna watercolor or what we're gonna do tonight. We may just we may we may just do a basic uh, we may just do a basic sketch. And and stop. So I'm gonna I'm gonna lay in some some groundwork here. I'm just gonna lay in the the landmarks.
this this part of it, the struggle for me is don't put too much detail in. I mean, it's not quite a gesture, but it should really, at this stage, you really should just be landmarks. So, we don't have very good placement on the paper. You see, I, I moved, the, I moved the drawing as you can, I moved the drawing off the off to the side. So here, so now I'm working up against the springs. I'm working up against the the bottom of the paper. So I'm actually going to go back in and do it one more time. And I'm going to try and keep. I'm going to try and keep it a little higher up and in place on the paper. The beauty of this stuff is, is you can erase if you if you know where your eraser is. Did you take my eraser? Nope. It's a kneaded eraser. You know how you know it's a kneaded eraser? Because you have to uh, make it warm in order to work. Because I need it right now. Okay, that's just warm. <laughs> so, again, the beauty, of, the beauty of doing it with this instead of ink is I can fix it. So we'll take these marks off. Of course, it's charcoal. It's not coming off. It's not going to come off easy. It's not. It's not going to be gone. But you won't notice it when we're done. The main. The main thing here, though, is I don't want those marks to confuse me when we come back later because it's a. It's a hot mess right now. And I don't want those marks to be confusing when we come back. But okay, I'm going to stop for a second, and we're going to do what's on your easel. Somebody said booby traps. Sorry. I wish you would quit apologizing all the time. You picked that up Dude. from your mother. Ready? You're a mouthful of pizza. You have a mouthful of pizza. I said, let's do what's on your easel. And you said, okay, and took a bite of pizza. Okay. Ready? What's, what's on your easel? What's on your easel? What's on your easel today? Okay, what you got? So the kids got, what is this? Abstract? Character that I made. Where, if it's a character, what is it? A, is there an eye somewhere? That red dot. The red dot's an eye. Where's the mouth? Right here. It's sort of hard to see. Because okay, so this is a mouth here. This is an eye. This is the side of its head. Is yep. this hair or is this just space? Just space. Hair okay. is right here and right here. There's also a nose right there. Not anymore. There's not. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's what he's that's what he's doing over there. And then, let's see, I had some, I had some easels sent in. I've got four. Pamela French sent in <clears throat> acrylic on wood cutout for the granddaughter's birthday. So, avert your eyes, it might be porn. Acrylic on a wood cutout. So she made a bunny cutout, and then she, she put... Hummingbirds on it. Hummingbirds. Hummingbirds and flowers. Little sun. Flamingo. Little flamingos right here. Two other birds are. Of, I think those are doves. These look like doves. So this is acrylic paint on a wood cutout. 
little rain cloud, little little birds, emmer birds. Mm -hmm. Nice, fun times, fun times, Pamela. And then the other easel she had, an artist trading card multimedia. Avert your eyes, it might be porn. Okay, Jesus saves. Probably not porn then. Dream, faith, believe. Looks like there's some watercolor in there. There's some ink in there. There's some stampage in there. There's some acrylic in there. There's a little bit of collage going on. Nice. Little artist, little artist trading card. Cool beans, Pamela. Thank you. And then uh, artist poet girl sends in. APG Jamie. Uh, not sure how many pics I can attach to this email. Made these in class with Kiala. Give hand master class two. The the bundle has a gray looking cover and a weave structure, yellow woven cover. So let's just see what we can do here. So is rainbow. this is this a book? What is this? It's a rainbow book. Sketchbook. Is that a sketchbook? Yeah, probably. It doesn't say that. Mm. Looks like a sketchbook. I can't see the pages, but it does look like a book of some kind. That looks like bookbinding to me. We structure. Oh, it's book covers. These are book covers. I see. So she's got a weave book cover. She didn't make the book. I don't think she made the book. I just think I think she just made the book cover. She's in the chat. She'll let us know. That's a better shot of the weave, though. The other one, this is the the light was a little bright, washed it out. That's a better shot of the weave. Look at that. Did you stain the paper yourself with the watercolor? Nice stuff. Nice stuff. Let's see if she responded. Uh, it's about the binding, not so much about the pages. Oh, it is a book. She made the books. Uh, she made the whole book. Wow. Wow, she made the whole book. So let's look at it again. She made the whole book. But the class was more about binding than the book, so she wanted to show off the binding. Wow. That's a fun book. Jamie, that's a fun book. Nice looking book. And then let's see what else did she say. Fancy. She did powder dyes on watercolor paper. That's powder dyes on watercolor paper. Fancy schmancy, Jamie. Nice stuff. All right, and then she sent another one easel 2. Uh, this one she made back in February and just posted the video on the 21st. Laminated napkins, spiral bound. The pages are all laminated napkins that include collaged napkin on napkin, heat embossing, foiling. Some have touches of acrylic paint, die cuts, and stamping. I added blank pages between each laminated sheet. I'm very proud of this one even though the magazine didn't publish it. I love the translucency of it. It has 12 laminated sheets but I've only included two pics of the pages. Here's a link to the video if you want. Okay, we'll include the link to the video and a link to your website, uh, Jamie. But uh, tell me more about the magazine that didn't print it. While while we go through and show this, tell us in the chat room what you mean about the magazine didn't didn't publish it. So these are laminated napkin pages. So you put some wax pa wax color down on watercolor paper and then laminate it with an iron and wax paper. Everything falls into place. Ooh, look at this. Very nice. If it doesn't land right, shove it to the left. <laughs> feel like a hack, but then again, art won't make itself, or will it? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I left my paint supplies here all night long, and they didn't do anything. 
kind of like gun control. My guns didn't didn't do anything all by themselves. Hey, look, it looks like a I don't own any guns. I do, but they're all in Oklahoma. What'd you say? On that picture, there was a bird picture, but if you look closely, there's a woman's head near the nest. I did see that. What the? It goes on forever. She said, I know it's infinity now. She says, I understand why they didn't. It wasn't it wasn't practical. These are laminated in a laminating machine. Okay, so she's she says her guns don't shoot anybody. <laughs> and then she's calling you out for seeing the face in the in the picture. She says is very good boy too. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. You saw the head in this one? Mm-hmm. Right there. Yep. Nice stuff. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie, for sending that in. If uh, if you would like to be a part of What's on Your Easel, send an email to blade at artisticbiker.com with the subject line easel, and we will use your works to inspire other people to do stuff, because that's what we're here for, is to inspire people to do stuff. So, on my easel, I haven't done very much. So, last week we did the shoe, uh, and then since... Since then, I've done one set of faces. Look how sad that is. I've done one set of faces. I've got all this sketchbook to do, and I've done one set of one set of faces. And then I've done an art journal page. If I can get it over here without knocking everything down, I've done an art journal page about my son's Boy Scout troop going to the beach to clean Crystal the beach, beach to clean the beach up they went to Chris they went to Crystal Beach and it's you know uh, leave it cleaner than you found it leave it better than you found it and he, just a little painting of him picking up some trash he said he had, he didn't actually pick up soda rings he actually picked up a diaper but yeah true that <laughs> so so I did that and then I've got a couple of pinups that I've done since then uh, I did this one and then I've done this one and you can always tell Wednesdays because there's always a hump on Wednesdays Wednesdays are hump days so hump day today's Thursday yeah. so that's all that's what was that's what was on my easel that's what was on your easel again if you'd like to be a part of what's on your easel ah! Everything's falling. Ah! Everything's falling. I got it all stacked neatly over here to the side so you can't see it. Again, if you'd like to be a part of what's on your easel, simply send an email to blade at artisticbiker.com with the subject line easel, and we'll use your work to inspire other people to do stuff uh, because that's what we're here for. So with that, uh, this is not quite finished, so we're going to pull this back up, and we're going to keep going. You can tell that I am out of practice. I just, what? I just want to stay out here, but I'm finished. Okay. You can tell that I am out of practice drawing with a pencil in a book. I have been using I have been using fountain pen for so long that I I've been using the fountain pen for so long that I have forgotten how to make clean marks with a pencil. How sad is that? But hopefully we can we can still we can still salvage something out of this. The hardest part about this is doing it on this display setting because it's not aimed at my face I'm not looking at the model in front of me and it's not aimed at my face so it makes it it makes it just a little difficult I got her hand way out there. That hand is not anywhere near where it's supposed to be. It makes it a little bit difficult to 
um, keep the perspective right. I can feel the lead breaking. I can feel this. I can feel this breaking in my fingers. So, if it breaks, we're done. We just throw it all away. <laughs> break out the break out the brushes. Do something else. But I tell you, I like going to the figure drawing classes. I like going to the live sessions. The live sessions, you really just can't beat it. Especially if you go someplace like, uh, especially if you go someplace like my friend Rick's place. It's if you can find a guy like that that's got his own studio. He's got a nice studio above his garage. Jonathan Felton is another friend of mine. that has got one here. In, that's got a, a studio here in town that he 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 does. Uh, live models in and if you can get to a live session boy you just you just can't beat it yeah that that perspective is way off there we go now we're getting closer to where I want to be so At some point, I'm just going to have to stop and do what I know, as opposed to what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to lighten all of that so that I can come back in. So that I can come back in and just really hit it. If I wanted to put this on a canvas or anything like that, I would stop and I would put this on trace, tracing paper and I would only pick out the lines that I like for the tracing paper. But we're not doing that. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've used a charcoal pencil, so maybe that's what I should use on my everyday matters stuff. Oh, you know what? I didn't show you the everyday matters. Not everyday matters. Um, random object, random auger fire. That's not it. Where is the random object, random auger fire book? That's why I didn't show you. Is It's not where it's supposed to be. Here we go. So Can here's... Random object? Here's random objects. The random object, random... From the random object, random auger fire. But see, I've been doing that with fountain pen. So, these are the last ones that I didn't show you. But uh, I've been doing these with I've been doing these with fountain pen. Maybe I should go back to doing them with charcoal pencil, so that I can I can get back in practice of using a charcoal pencil. Next few minutes, things are, things are going to be really, it's right. going to be really difficult to talk. <laughs> Why don't you tell us how your day was, kiddo? What was your What was your favorite thing in school today? Science. What did you do in science? We learned about electricity energy. What did you learn about electricity energy? We learned how to power a light bulb with wires and a battery. Wires. And a battery. Basically, all that we did was just take a battery and one piece of wire, put the battery on the wire, put and the other end of the wire on top of the battery, then stuck with the light bulb right there, and the light bulb lit up. Yeah? Mm hmm. That sounds pretty cool. It was also super fun. Was it? 
teacher has a uh, college student yeah. that is following her. Student teacher? Yeah. Is she pretty? Mm, sort of. <laughs> What do you mean, no hard feelings? In case if she's watching it. <laughs> you're, you're 10, buddy. She's, she's got to be in her 20s. I doubt, I doubt that she's really all that concerned about what, whether a 10-year-old thinks she's pretty. You're not 10 yet, though, are you? Nine. Nine years old. I have a friend whose birthday party is coming up. Yeah? Is he having a party? Yeah, at main event. At main event? Is that the one with bowling alley? Yeah, bowling, bowling alley, rope course. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Laser tag. Video games. I know which one you're talking about. I've only been there like twice. You like doing stuff like that. Especially Times Square. Times Square is better than Main Event. Is it? Yes. Why would you say that? Because there's more bowling alleys. Have you been to, have you been to, uh, It's? No. Your I don't believe so. Your sister likes to go to It's. That's where we're going for her birthday? I don't know. Okay. This is horrible. This is horrible. I definitely need more practice with pencil, with charcoal pencil. Whose idea was this? Yours. What? Let's see here. Let's see what happens if we push past the ugly face. So this whole side of her should be darker. Because the light's over here. So this whole side of her should be darker. But it's gone. What happened to it? It moved. No. So obviously I need more practice with charcoal pencil. And now we know what resources we can use to practice with charcoal pencil. Right? We know we can use pose space. We know we can use figurosity. We know we can use I don't have a blending stone. How come I don't have a blending stone? Line of action. Line of action was the other one. And I'll have all those links underneath here. Line of action. That was it.
this to be nice and crisp right there. Okay. Now let's take okay. this side. Alright, so yeah, obviously I need more practice, but we know that we can use line of action, we can use pose space, we can use uh, figurosity, and I hope that you will look into those things and try it on your own. I think I'm going to do this in ink. <laughs> so that's where I'm stopping. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. You know I look forward to doing this every week. You see the boy's gone. He left his empty plate. But I look forward to doing this every week. Uh, be sure and join me next week. Same Artistic Biker time, same Artistic Biker channel. Let me know what you think about the Twitch format. Uh, we we're going to get this worked out. There's some there's there's still some uh, there's still some uh, snags that we've got to get figured out. Cameras, for instance, we we've got to get figured out. Uh, maybe some maybe even I don't know ideas and planning. Hey, speaking of which, let's see what let's see what's on the calendar for next week. So this tonight was figures. Uh, we're gonna do. We'll paint a mini next Thursday. So uh, so next Thursday we'll paint one of these mini one of these mini cards like like this one or where did the other one go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Uh, we're on the wrong camera. You sneak up behind me. Quit sneaking up. So next week we'll paint a mini like this one or this one. Those are fun. So we'll do that next week. So be sure and tune in next week for that. Anyway, thanks, guys. And then we dance. And we dance until somebody says that they see me dancing. I don't know that anybody's ever going to see me dancing because I think Jamie already headed out. And the other person is not chatting. So we're just going to dance for just a few more seconds. Be sure and send in your easels to blade at artisticbiker.com with the subject line easel. Thanks, guys. Mwah. Freeze. You gotta freeze. You gotta freeze. Son, freeze. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the Artistic Biker now. Click the buttons.